Hey friends, today I am at Epcot and I'm continuing my adventure of eating at all the restaurants around World Showcase. We've already done the Beer Garden, Le Cellier, Teppanito, and even San Angel Inn, but tonight we are at the Italy Pavilion and we are dining at Via Napoli. So, let's go do this. I am Italian, so of course, Italian food is my favorite. I love the pizza, I love the chicken parm and the pasta, so this is going to be a good one, and I am prepared to eat a lot of food. Before we get checked in for our reservation, I'd like to walk around and give you a look at the pavilion and point out some interesting things, and then maybe afterwards, if we have time, we'll do a little bit more exploring. I just love all of the different pavilions at Epcot, and it's good to just take the time and actually experience each one. And that's one of the perks of living here is I get to do that, and I just love it. It's amazing. Normally these flowers aren't here, they're just getting ready for Flower and Garden Festival, but I think it looks so beautiful. And one thing I always like to point out is a nifty Hidden Mickey in the pavilions. So I'm going to show you one of my personal favorite Hidden Mickeys, just over here by Neptune. It's going to be a little bit loud because we're going to be peeking into a water fountain, but it's definitely worth it to see. If you take a look at the rock work behind the statue, I'm not going to exactly tell you where it's at, but if you can see it, let me know in the comments. And that's where you're going to find a really, really cool hidden Mickey. There are two different Italian restaurants here in the Italy Pavilion. We have Via Napoli and then Tutu Italia. And both of them actually serve pretty good food. Tutu Italia is more of a higher end Italian food. And Via Napoli is known for their pizza. But today, I want to actually get something from Via Napoli that's not pizza. I know that's hard because the pizza is amazing, but I want to try the chicken parm. Why not? It is so hard, like I said, to not get the pizza when you come here, but I really need to know how the chicken parm is. And plus, I actually might look into options of getting the pizza, but not a full portion, because I can't eat a whole pizza and the chicken parm. So we're gonna see what we can do about that. Maybe there's a special way. For the longest time, I've only ever gotten pizza from the takeout window here, but then I recently discovered that it's not the same pizza. This pizza is different from the pizza they serve in the restaurant. So when I actually did get to eat at Via Napoli, I was like, holy moly, I love this pizza. Let me know in the comments if you've had both and what pizza is your favorite. Something really interesting to point out, I never see these doors actually shut because it's so busy. People are usually walking in and out, but look at that for the first time ever. One of my favorite things about this restaurant is the theming inside. So when we get to our table, I'm gonna to try to show you some of the cool things that they have in here. Probably my favorite thing is the pizza ovens themselves. And you'll see what I'm talking about. The coolest thing is the actual wood-fired ovens that they cook all the pizzas in. They're named after the three big volcanoes in Italy, Stromboli, Vesuvio, and Etna. And look at them, don't they look so fancy? I absolutely love it. Can you see all the pizzas in there cooking in the fire? Very fancy. Oh wow, look at all those pies. This is going to be so amazing. For the first time ever, I'm actually going to be dining on the outside area. I've never dined out here before, so it's going to be a new experience. I like it. Usually they have these windows open, but it's really not the nicest weather to have the windows open. But you get a little breeze, a little bit. Now that I'm at the table, I can take my mask off, relax a little bit, and I ordered myself a Peroni, and I like that they have beer actually served in like little beer mugs themselves. Here, it's nice Italian beer. I love it. <laughs> we can take a look at the menu that they actually have online, and you can see I wanted to go with the chicken parm. I already discussed that, but I wanted to get pizza and they have a kid's one and then they also have a individual one, which is a 10 inch pizza for $21. So we're gonna see what we can do here. I did go with the chicken parm and I wanted to get the pizza, which I'm definitely not gonna be able to eat all of it. There is an age restriction on the kids menu, so I just went with the $10 individual uh, picante, which is a spicy Italian sausage pizza. So I'm definitely gonna be taking a lot of this home in a box, but that's okay, it's good food and it makes amazing leftovers. I asked them to actually bring out the food as soon as it's ready. So the first thing that came out was the chicken parm. And look at the size of this. This is humongous, isn't it? 
Wow. We're going to try to lift it up a little bit to see if we can get a look at the pasta underneath there. That is an impressive chicken breast. I bet you it's a whole entire chicken breast just basically butterflied and fried. I mean, this is, this is it. This is big. Another thing I'm worried about after seeing the size of this chicken parm, I wanted to get tiramisu. So now I'm like really torn because when you start to eat something and it's good, you don't want to stop. So I'm nervous that that's going to happen with this chicken parm, but I have to remember I got pizza coming and then also the tiramisu. So we're going to take it nice and slow. That's the plan. We're going to cut off a little of the chicken first, maybe right about here. Oh yeah. Oh, this is going to be too good. I already know. Look at this. I got a little bit of pasta with the chicken. I'm excited. This is going to be amazing. Oh boy. This is phenomenal. I love the noodles and I love the breading on the chicken. The sauce is just on point. You know, I'm so happy that I've gotten something to eat here that wasn't the pizza. And now it really is, it's just really good food here. Like I know it, it's not just the pizza folks. But as I was trying this chicken parm, look at what showed up. Oh my Lord, there it is. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna take our time though. We're gonna work a little bit on this, then we're gonna hop to that, and then a little bit of this, and then a little bit of that. Okay, I couldn't resist. We're gonna tag the pizza in. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh yeah, maybe I'll do this. Just slide it in. <laughs> just like that. Okay, now it's time for the pizza. Oh, look at, look at how they just big clumps of spicy sausage right on there. And then underneath, the pizza has a perfect crust. That is amazing, isn't it? The last time I was here and I got the pizza, I remember I got pepperoni and I got sausage and it was a much bigger pie. And there was a lot of like floppiness. This time it's a smaller pie, no pepperoni, no flop. So like there was like no flop, no New York flop. And it's a much thinner crust. So I think the 10 inch pie is a little bit better actually. And I think I gave it an 8.7 last time. I think so, it was an 8.7, and uh, I don't know, I got high hopes for this one. This is, this is looking really good. Wow, I gotta say, this is way better than the last time I had pizza here. I'd give this a solid 9, honestly. The crust is so perfect and everything's thin. I love this, this is good. Now we're gonna tag the chicken parm back in. <laughs> I thought about maybe possibly taking some chicken parm and putting it on my pizza, but then I decided to actually grab some of the sausage and put it on my pasta. So now I have like a sausage pasta, a chicken parm, and a sausage pizza. It's the best of both worlds right here. The sausage and the pasta go really well together. That's a good dish right here. Another thing you could do is take that leftover pizza crust and there you go, get all that sauce. That's the way. <laughs> I was able to finish all the chicken parm, but I think I'm gonna take the pizza home with me because pizza is better as a leftover than chicken parm. So tomorrow I'll be able to have some cold pizza and uh, yeah, kind of have like a nice little lunch. But I did save room. I am able to get some tiramisu. I'm not like full full. So I got three slices of pizza to take home and uh, enough room that I can try the tiramisu. Tiramisu. And here is the tiramisu. Look at this, isn't this amazing? Can you see the coffee soaked lady fingers in there? This is beautiful. I cannot wait to try it. It looks absolutely stunning. I honestly don't even want to cut into it, but I have to. Oh boy. Look at that. Oh no. So good. I don't know if I had like a perfect trifecta today, but everything I've tried has been absolutely amazing. And I think this is going to be amazing too.
sorry, David. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm eating tiramisu. Oh, the chocolate powder just went down my throat. I'm stopping now. Dare I say this is the best tiramisu I've ever had? I absolutely think so. Look at that. You can see how, like, you can see the coffee still on the bottom of the plate. Do you see that? Oh, this is, this is amazing. Dinner was absolutely amazing. In fact, one of my favorite dining like experiences in a while. Not too often you get to have pizza and chicken farm. And then the tiramisu just topped it off. It was absolutely phenomenal. Still one of my absolute favorite restaurants at Walt Disney World. And I'm just so excited that I got to come here and eat today. And now we need to uh, kind of just start walking around and burning off some of these calories. As we're coming out of Via Napoli, you can see the sun's going down a little bit. It's so beautiful out though. The temperature is literally perfect. I think it's like 65 degrees, no wind. I'm really liking it. It was raining earlier, but it's definitely still a little gloomy out. I am so full though. That was a lot of food that I just put down there. It was all amazing. And now we get to walk around World Showcase and just kind of let it settle and burn off. If I didn't enjoy that amazing tiramisu from inside Via Napoli, I'd get one of these tiramisu popsicles that's at the donkey cart right here. And isn't it so funny it's a donkey cart? I don't know, I already named him Dominic. Kind of like Dominic the donkey. I don't know if that's his actual name though. I like Dominic the donkey. Hee haw, hee haw. I also figured I'd hop into one of the merchandise locations and show you guys some of the newer Epcot Italy like merchandise that they have. I wish they had a spirit jersey, but no spirit jersey yet, but they do have some cool things. You can see we have a lot of Mickey and Minnie like Italy Epcot World Showcase apparel and then even the Italy ears right here. These are very popular. I see a lot of people wearing them and then we've got some aprons and even some kind of like t-shirts and nice little plushes. Oh, look it, Mickey looks like Mario. They also have some good men's merchandise. I like this t-shirt and this uh, actual like zipper hoodie right here. This is really nice, look in the back. That's very fancy. Oh, and then some beer mugs. Look at these fancy things. Oh yeah, lots of good stuff. <laughs> lots of good stuff. Oh, look at that. Wow. I'm gonna head on out near Spaceship Earth or by World Showcase Lagoon and kind of look at Spaceship Earth. It's always beautiful from back here because they have like a very nice setup and I always like coming back here and it's a great spot for photos as well. Even the bridge, like they have a little bridge. I'm gonna show you right here. Look at the bridge over the canal and look at the ducks swimming right through it. That is really awesome, isn't it? I don't think any other like location on World Showcase or any of the actual pavilions have kind of like a little like area like this that's close to the water. Come right up the steps here and you get a much clearer view of all of everything I was talking about. Look at that. Amazing. I wish those boats actually were an attraction. I would ride them all day long. They just had literally a boat that was going through and underneath the bridges. I would do it. Yep, I would be there. But boy, oh boy, could you ask for a better view? Look at us up here. Look at us. That's Spaceship Earth. It's a little bit gloomy, so I don't know if you can see it. I think it's right... There it is. Right there. <laughs> I always think of areas like this and how often do cast members go down and like clean it and kind of like just touch the surface of it. Like I wonder if there's areas where it hasn't been touched for a long time. I mean there's not really any maintenance that you would need to do down here. Maybe just sweep up garbage but I would like to stand down there. I would like to get a photo right there with that background. And are those tomato plants? What kind of plants are those right there? I'm going to zoom in to show you guys. What is that? Please let me know in the comments if you know what kind of plant that is. I think it's so interesting that it's actually right here outside of the Italy Pavilion. If it is a tomato plant, I mean, that is, that is detail right there. That is Disney at its best. That's what I'm saying. 
But with that, I think I am done here. Absolutely amazing. I recommend the pizza, the chicken parm, the tiramisu. I recommend everything at Via Napoli. I think it's, like I said, one of my favorite Walt Disney World restaurants. And I want to thank you to Elizabeth because she actually bought my meal for me. And that was so nice of her. I ran into her family. And it was a little unexpected. So I want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And you have a lovely family. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. So we'll see you next time. Bye.